my bag. Okay, I'm just about to get ready here for the final of the Things are ready. Just waiting for final preparation here. Let's take a quick look around the venue here at Falcon Indoor Bowls Club. Great venue. Home of the UK Open. English Masters and World Pairs and World Fours Masters in the, on the tour. So we're just waiting for our finest to make the way onto the show mat here. Both just come for a very tight tie break. Pauline getting past Peter Roberts and Dan Winwell. Going through a really tight tie break against Michael Dory. All right. I think we're pretty much there. I'm just going to welcome the players on to the mat. Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to the Falcon Indoor Bowls Club here in Chelsea, England. You join us live for the 2022 SNPT UK Open Final. Please welcome your finalists. First up, making her first appearance in a ranking singles event. She is a two times former bronze medalist and two times World Cup winner. From Ireland, it's Pauline Beatty. <laughs> And also making his debut in a ranking event, he is the former World Two Bowl Singles winner from England, it's Dan Wimmill. Okay, thanks Simon. Going to put the players out onto the show mat here, playing for the trophy there and the Gold, gold and silver medals there. Already presented the players with their bronze medals. Players having trial in, sorry? No. Nope. Right, going to go straight in. Just going to do the toss now for the jack. Pauline to go first. And we're ready to We are off and running now for the final of the UK Open 2022. Pauline Beatty to get us underway. Pauline playing with the pink balls, Dan playing with the black balls. Should be fairly easy to tell the difference for you. Are you watching? Good start from Dan here, drops all the way back. So Pauline just reached down to this. Very good here, that's the jack. Yeah, got it. Dan's just going to try and get inside his first bowl. Just over the weight. Well, that's good. Push the way for two. Again, let us know who you're supporting here in the final, where you're watching from. If you played this weekend and you're at home now watching, hope you enjoyed your Experience here at the Short Map Players Tour. We just got underneath Dan's shot bowl there. Just asking if he's holding two, which he is. Then we'll switch to the backhand, draw around, put to draw onto Pauline's closest bowl. Looks to be on a very good line for his. It's all on the weight now. 
Oh, very good. Yep. Great start this for Dan in the first end. Last ball to come for Pauline. He's just need to change this. She's in the area. Oh, what a ball. Three down to three up. That's a very, very good ball on the first end. Very difficult as well. I'm getting the weight absolutely perfect there. Dan's having to, I think he's looking to try and push. He has got a toucher there to play. And that's going to be three shots. Yep, three shots to Pauline. Great first end. So, a bit of everything now. Pauline playing an absolute perfect bowl. And for the last one to pick up the three. Obviously very early on in this final, so I won't be too disappointed. And what sometimes happens after an end like that, you get a bit of a loose start from both of these players, shall we say. Better for this one, I'll just be just through all in holding two currently. Good again here from Pauline. Very good. Just make sure he gets a good second here. Give him a chance of his last bolt. He's on a good road again. Oh, doesn't want to slip through. I don't think that's made a difference. Still think that could be free to pull in there. Pauline might choose to play her forehand here. Drop onto the last bowl. Now it's just going to stick away. It's drawn three. Pretty good bowls on its backhand side. It's going to do again. Just through. Dan's changing. Playing the backhand at this. Obviously looking to make contact. Little things about if he can. Oh, he's cut it down at least. Hi, right, Sophie. Thanks for joining us. One shot to Pauline there. Good cut down there, really, in the end. It was three down, so one to Pauline. Four nil after two ends. Just wait for Simon to just confirm that for you. There we go. Four. Neil off for two. Pauline liking her backhand to lead off with. <coughs> Very different to what you see on many of the outdoor and indoor bowls where they tend to stick to one side of the the mat or the green or the whatever they're bowling on. It tends to be in short, mate. You tend to have a favourite hand and you your backhand is preference, you'll 
use that to lead off with. Pawning sticking to the backhand here. Well, opportunity for Dan now. Can put one very close of his first. Needs to double up again. Had a very good first end here. Pawling has played a fantastic turnaround bowl to end up picking up three shots. I think we'll see Pauline just come to have a quick look. Don't forget for all of you watching, we will be coming to you live next month when we return to Belfast for the Irish Open. Looking forward to our first event over in Belfast for two and a half years now. Bowl from Pauline, just fallen out, but then I'll just draw away, draw onto that last bowl. Close here. Very good. And two of that. And see, so one thing you will see is both players applaud each other when they play a good bowl, as you would expect. I'll just go and just show you what Pauline's to have a look at. She's currently two down in the head. Just dropping down in the backhand, just over the weight. Yeah, it's going to go, I think. Again, as I was saying all weekend, that hand has been catching people out. Go underneath the line, it just goes away. Both these players playing with very heavy bias bowls, they'll turn a lot. Then they're going to draw in for three. Very good. Yeah, well bowled then. Very good. So, four, three now after three ends. Great play from both players so far since the shots. Leading off on his backhand. Good start, this. Very good. Again, chalk is very important at this level. You get a bit of chalk with your first two bowls. Good effort from calling, good reply. I think Dan was one down anyway there, but let's push Pauline's bowl down. Hi Elite, thanks for the question. The winner here gets 750. I think the runner up is 450. I'll double check. I'm sure it's 450 for the runner up. Very good from Pauline. Of course, both of these players will be top of the order of merit. As it stands, top of their race to the World Cup for their respective countries as well. That looks a bit under with that one again. The hand does just bend away that side of the mat. A bit tentative actually there from Dan, but there might be a little bit more to that. Paul is going to be a little bit careful. Doesn't want to pop that jack out. Also wide on her backhand here. That's good. Doesn't give Dan much to play at there. I'll just go behind them. Might just see near the sort of view behind the rink there. Not Dan's facing. Oh, 
I'll try and find out with bowls. I believe um, Pauline's playing with either Taylor Elite or Taylor Lignoy, so it's a big swingy bowl. I believe Dan's also got an older set of uh, Taylor Lignoids. So I'm using a, a fairly big bias bowl, which works very well on these mats. These are not what you call quick mats, but they're not slow, they're certainly in the middle there. They do run very well, do turn very nice. Well, Dan was, I think Dan's problem with that in there was a third bowl, really. He needed to try and change it if he could at that point. It's definitely two to pull in. Two, yeah, two shots to pull in currently. See if Pauline can make any more of this. Yeah, the mats have been fairly true. I mean, the mats that I've played on so far this weekend, um, you get obviously you get ever slight differences in pace. You might get one hand that turns ever so slightly more. I mean, the floor is pretty level, as you would expect from an indoor bowling arena. Of course, you are going to get the odd difference. I say this show mat, the side that Pauline's bowling here, does turn ever so slightly more than the other hand. Pauline yeah, a bit tentative there. Rice bowl. I think it's two shots to the but we'll double check. Yep, two shots, agreed. So Pauline, 6 3 now. After four. Those that haven't got their sound on. There we go, confirmation, 6 3, 4 ends. So I'm adopting the old marker's technique of keeping the jack in his hand while he puts the scoreboard up. Oh, Dan's going to go for this, surely. He's going for the draws. Interesting. In the previous round. Him straight down and looking for that. But again, he's drawing the way he's playing. Let's finish well. Don't forget, if you have got any questions, please let us know. If you've got any messages, get even any messages for the players, I'm sure, when they watch this back. Be appreciative of all the comments. You can see all the messages popping up on the screen here. I wouldn't say it's made a big difference, Adam. The, the carpet here has been uh, stretched as well recently. It's definitely a slower uh, carpet for the indoor bowlers, but we've not really noticed too much difference on the short mat side, I will be honest. The only thing we have noticed is the mats do move ever so slightly more on here because it is quite a smooth uh, plain surface now. The old uh, the old carpet here at Falcon was well it must be twenty over twenty years old so it's uh, sort of say a bit fluffy and the mats tended to hold their position on the mats so not much difference. Mm, good effort from Dan he's just got the wrong side of that. Of course, these mats are multi-use. We can use these in other venues and hard floor venues, and they do go a lot uh, quicker when you put these down on a hard floor. Very good, versatile mat. These are the wide green light mats from Verdi Mat Bowls. Very good from Pauline there. Definitely found the rhythm in this final. Not much for them to play to here. Yeah, no problem, mate. Playing the backhand down to it. Not easy, this. Hmm. Definitely free. Okay. 
I'm just going to get the umpire to check for four. Three's been conceded. Bowling from Paul Reed here in this final. Show. We've got a few people that stayed behind to watch the final, which is great. Just take this opportunity to thank everybody for joining us this weekend. Really enjoy being back playing ranking singles competitions again for the first time in two and a half years. I think all the players have really enjoyed it as well. Had a lot of New players as well. Feedback's been really good. Of course, if you have got any feedback, even for those of you at home watching, please let us know. We're always looking to try and improve our coverage for the players. So that's three shots to Pauline. So nine three now. Hi, Andrew. Uh, Chris McWinnie lost in the. Uh, final plate, I believe, to Daniel Sands. And Tim Harwood beat Alan Harwood in the Shield final. Good start from Paul in again. Just putting Dan under pressure. In the off here, then needs to get himself back into this. Only six, six shots. It's plenty to get back into this. Great effort. Yeah, those of you that are interested in entering our competitions, you take a look at our website. We do have spots for quite a few of our events that are open at the moment. We'll be opening the 1st September, the Belfast Open Pairs and the World Masters Singles at Belfast. So it's just off now, and this is this is purely from pressure from Pauline. The more your opposition keeps drawing in, drawing in, drawing in. Once again, Paul is looking to drop in here. She's very good here. Oh, very good. And again, you can't afford to miss. Dan did every second one there. Himself under a lot of pressure again. He's got to change it with this bowl. Well, he's facing another big end here. Yeah. Don't think that's helped him too much. And then I'll just draw away again. She's got bow over the other side, which is going to help. You only think she might be a bit wide here, potentially. Well, that's good. Didn't knock it out of the hand, but it's finished well. Dan Bryce, while we've done as well there. Yeah, that's not, that's not a great head for Dan to have to bowl to here. Just quickly show you now. And Melvin, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the final. Dan's having to play a lot of weight to this, that's for sure. He needs to make contact. He has. Good strike. Well, I think you feel a bit better there. Advice on being consistent in shots. Oh, he's probably speaking to the wrong person, uh, Stephen. But, um, obviously, just practice, practice, practice. Good thing about these events, you have the opportunity to have a, a, a roll up both days before play starts. Get into knockouts, we have trial ends. There's plenty of opportunity for players to feel acclimatised, get comfortable with the surroundings. All the mats are the same, as much as they can be. So, I 
Do a spare start from then. As you can see, every player so far that we've covered have all got different deliveries, different techniques. It's what works for you. But you can see you're always trying to get there with your first bowl, trying to be on or past the jack. And certainly win more games by piling bowls around the jack. And as you can see from what Paul has been doing, Dan's just displayed here. Drawing is the is the way. Of course, there are times where you need to play pointed shots. That's both again Pauline and Dan have shown so far in this final. But it will be the draw that wins you more. I can just show the difference there. Dan was facing three down before he killed. The last end is now two on. It's Pauline having to scramble here. Well, let's just come to have a look. And it's two on. Let's draw again for play the forehand this time. Sticking to the backhand, obviously trying to drop off of his back bowl. Even if he does touch the shot bowl, it's not a disaster. Good here. Well, that's good. Let's open the jack out a little bit. So Paul leans again with Paul being a left hander, that probably gives that his two shots. So it does give Paul lean a forehand. And the forehand, big bowl this. Yes. Very good. And that was a danger with Dan playing his third bowl the way he did there. Just opened it out. Before that, there wasn't really much Pauline could do. So, then just have a look. I think you just got to go take the bowl off here. Up to yeah, playing up, looking to take the shot bowl. Doesn't want the jack here. Could kill it, obviously, but that'll be all of his lives lost there. He's got to be in the area. Yeah, so. We play the end again, so that's Dan's last time he can kill it now. He does it again, it's three shots away. Slightly different rule than a lot of rules that you'll be used to playing off over ten ends you can most other competitions you can get it three times but only two on the tour. I'm just saying in the part of the introduction there that Pauline's been bronze medalist twice on the tour, never made the final before, so it's the same for Dan, both of these appearing in their first ranking singles final. Looks a bit light from Pauline now. That's where Dan's got to step in now. Yeah, he's going to look to just try and drag this jack back. Don't blame him. Be a bit wide. Yeah. Good effort. Yeah, 
of course the game did originate uh, or as the legend has it from two South Africans from across to Wales and then to Ireland 80 years ago the Irish Indoor Bowling Association has been formed for must be uh, 70 years as we see Dan just dropping down here very good it's only been in England since the early 80s officially and then very quickly Wales and Scotland and obviously more recently lots of other nations have taken this great sport up Dan just gets put himself back in this game here. Oh, he has got an opportunity down here to push this bowl away. She's not far off, you know. Oh, didn't want the flick. Played it with absolutely spot on weight. Dan's just drawing in for two now. I want to make the most of this if he can. Call the extra ones. It's not a gimme. It's a, a very good bowl here to get to. But you need to maximise where possible. The drops. He has. Very good. And two shots to Dan now. Nine five now. Back within four. Halfway through. Just wait for Simon to change the scoreboard there. And five, six ends. Yeah, I've certainly heard that phrase enough time, Melvin. Particularly in the St George's Cup, or playing against any of the Midlands or Northern counties over the years. Well, pulling just a slightly Got him off here. The first bowl, giving Dan an opportunity. Well, Malcolm, thank you for joining us. There you go, we've got over 300 people watching live, that's fantastic. Thanks we've had so far this weekend. Thank you very much for joining us. And if you had joined us, Pauline Beats are currently 9 5 up. Halfway through, six ends. Six more to go. Dan's holding a good shot here. He needs to capitalise on this. Drop on. Is he here? Is he here? Wow. Well, not finish in a bad spot. Pauline has got a forehand, she's left handed, available to her. It's got the back position. Yeah, it's been a hard couple of years, Andy, in terms of. Covid. I've been fortunate personally here in terms of uh, Essex is quite a comprehensive league structure here. We've been able to play in the last season. Looking forward to the new season starting. From Pauline. Again, Dan's got to make the most of this and Pauline has got one bowl left. Can't leave it sitting there like that. Looking forward to getting a full season on the tour for the first time in two and a half years. I'm waiting here for Dan. 
likes it. Oh, not the way he wanted to finish. Although, Paul has got to be a little bit careful because he should just try and play the same shot again. The ball probably won't follow through now because of that ball. I don't think she'll change here. She'll still be looking to play big to this. Yep. Well, it's be slightly wide. So one shot to Dan. Nine six now after seven ends. Okay. I'll just keep plugging away. <coughs> it's important that if Dan does drop an end, he's got to just drop the one. And let someone of Pauline's quality get too far in front of you. Yeah, good start from Dan. Perfect start. We're going to stay, once the final is concluded, we're going to quickly stay live here and do a very quick interview with both the finalists. And obviously present the medals and the trophy to the winner. Switching stick into the backhand, sorry. Looking to draw around here, which is dumped. Good here. Falls up now. And that's very good. Just found his rhythm and his range in the last few ends. Pulled himself back. Pulled himself back within three. It's pulled in chasing. And the change the situation. Switching to a backhand. Not nice and wide, that will come right back. Great effort. Again, it's Dan that's got the back position. Then I'll just try and drop round this. Once again, if he gets in the count, it's a bonus. Don't forget if you have got any comments or any questions at all, let us know. Oh, Dan's going to the forehand himself. Probably looking just to arrive down here. No, that's good. A good question, Andrew, in terms of Cyprus. Yeah, there's been a few questions this weekend. We're certainly open to the idea of having an event in Cyprus. I know Simon's very keen obviously living over in Cyprus, so we'll certainly try our best to see if we can have an event over there again. Enjoy the two times that we have done. Also very conscious as well about the, the cost of living situation for well, not just people in the UK, but people all over at the moment. Just very grateful that we've got a good support from players entering the events, which is always great. And back to the back to the backhand. Draw up another one. So on a good line. Might be but actually it's gonna come in. Well, Pauline's bolt at the back now is probably the, the issue for Dan. And it probably will go back to that. It's probably only one though at the moment. So, you know, just the one to Dan at the moment. 
much danger for Paul Leem here. She's only dropped one if the jet goes right back. So, hopefully, unless she's tight, pushes home one away. And it was a very good weight here. Just a little tap. Oh, very good. One shot to Pauline. Ten six after eight. Great shot from Pauline. Played it with the perfect weight. Just to push it back. Her bowl waiting now. There we go, confirmation 10, 6 after 8 ends. Paul has played some fantastic shots in this final. First end, 3 down to 3 up. Certainly stands out. Oh, dang, look at this now. He's not being tempted. Into playing the running ball. <coughs> Good reply from Dan. I think we'll see Pauline in positive to this. Yep. Very good here. Big push. Uh, Don's got to play this now, surely, on the forehand. Jack through. Very well put, Ed. Yes, exquisite. Oh, that's got to be tight. Let's call people out their hand. I've been saying it all weekend. Oh, that's very good. Mm -hmm. Only get one chance, Dan. Gonna have to play again, but he's the result he's looking for now is a lot harder. Still looks like he's slightly under. Yeah, that's not finished one either. And that was the problem with not getting it with the second bolt. Pauline's got a toucher in a ditch as well. Pauline just taking time to have a think about this. Holding two. She's got a back position. Draw him for three here. It's right round the back of this. This is brilliant. Very good. And it's just going to Drop down here on the forehand and roll the jack back. He's got to be careful because he has killed it twice, obviously, so he can't do that again. Close here. Well, yes, I think he's definitely got the shot there. Turn around there. Yep, one shot to Dan. 10 7 now. After nine ends. <coughs> oh, excuse me, bit of a sore throat. Bit of cough, it's not uh, dreaded COVID, hopefully. Not a big difference in the score there if Paul had held on to those three. We're looking at 13 6 and pulled the game over, so great ball from Dan now. Still well in this now, 10 7 down, Dan, after 9 ends. I'll let him know that, Andy. Play 12 end, this, this is the 10th end. And 
good with power down. And it's really good. I'll well, certainly be looking to use them with at least two of the last three ends, I'd say. Pushed it up, unfortunately, not enough. Dan again, the draw around here on the forehand. Well, not the result he was looking for. It's not finished too bad for him. Morning's got nothing behind. He's got to be wary, it's just two down. Just let the beat positive on the forehand, on the pair of forehands to the stand, left handed. Push for our own two bowls. Give her a chance with the last. Yep. Well, it's very precarious now for Dan. Yeah, mm, Dan's bowl's not looking too clever in there now. Any touch on Pauline's bowl, that's bowl is out of there. And Pauline will be holding. So. And needs to uh, think about this, maybe even try to see if we can stop Pauline from playing that shot. I don't think there's much more really positioning wise than we can do here. Pauline's going to have a shot at something. Yeah, he's not liking it at all. When he touches himself, he's going to make it worse for himself. Why is he playing here? Wow. Wow, this is brave. Very good bowl though. That's a hell of a shot. I mean he only had to be a fraction different there and he was down. So he's he's really changed ahead with that one. Great bowl. Some great shots in this final. The advantage in the end goes back to Dan. Paulian has got a little tap on her own bowl. It's in the middle of Dan's free, just to tap the jack back to hers. Probably the preference on, on her backhand. Yeah, that's what she's after. Got it. Oh, didn't quite get it full. Great effort. She's going to be the one. Yep, one shot to Dan. So, 10 8 now. Oh, 10 ends. There we go, 10-8, ten, 10 ends the calling. I'm going for a long jack this time. Well, I won't be happy with that. Plenty of room for Pauline. Morning says thank you very much. Very good. Not like that. Well, Dan's got to take that. <laughs> yeah, he's just toying. Wow. This is a brave shot now. Can't forget he's already killed it twice. Can't get it three times. Oh, wow. 
That's a lot of weight. Oof. That was certainly a dangerous amount of weight to play that. Was the game gone if Jack had gone off there? Three shots away, it would have been. Oh, that's very good. That's definitely got to get behind here. Give himself a chance. Yep, good bowl. Gives himself a chance for his last. Paul Neil will just try and match that. That looked under. It's in the count. Just over half inch, mate. Yes, mate, yeah. Dan hasn't got a direct shot at Pauline's two bowls to push the jack back. He's going to have to play for his own here, I think. awkward do you go from the, I mean you can see about half of or a quarter of that shot bowl you need to hit that hard to get enough onto it if it does here he's drawing it wow back at himself on the draw I'll tell you what that's a hell of an effort Pauline holding Did say that he'd try and draw it. Oh, he's got to be a little bit careful. So I actually can afford to just bump up to this. If she does get that bump of Dan's out, it will be game over. I think that's what Dan was looking at, really, that he couldn't afford to. I don't think Pauline can quite see her own bowl for the same problem that Dan had. Just going to play just over the weight here. Push on to her own. Mm, good idea. She'll be happy then. Three, three up on the last end. So one to Pauline. 11 8 now playing the last end. Dan needing a three for a tie break, four for a win. Anything else? She'll take home her first ranking singles title. Yeah, good start. And he's just wondering if he plays weight to this. He's going to play on the backhand. Less likely. Push the jack off the mat. So, it's wide. So, of course, with that, Dan has to score with all three of his remaining bowls. Can't afford the jack to go off because he'll drop the three himself. Oh, very good. I think you're about to hear quite a lot of noise, Andy. That is a good bowl from Ben, but Pauline just drops down here. Very good. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, Dan's playing it just now. And it goes off, that is the game. So he's looking to push Pauline's bowl away. He's got it. Yeah, there's half a chance for Dan. He's just got to hope that Pauline doesn't get in here with this one. Can't see it like Pauline's playing, to be honest. Good late and Pauline now. Got a little glide off the front. She was uh, in the area. Don't think. Yeah, the shot there for Dan. We'll see, but I don't see one. Of course, he needs three shots. Take us to a tire break. Let's leave it wide out. So that is the task of the full lane. On the clock. Jay, of course, her husband who's been a winner many times on the tour. We are going to stay on the coverage here. We're going to do a very quick interview with the winners. Really good final. Pauline winning her first Lincoln Singles event. Just good to see the congratulations of all the people that stay to support. I'm just going on to the interviews.
right, guys, that's it from us for uh, this weekend. Thank you very much for joining us. A big thank you to everyone who stayed to watch the final and to all the players at home who've uh, watched and participated. We'll be back next month for the Irish Open in Belfast on the 17th and 18th of September. So we look forward to seeing you there. Thank you very much and good night.